are more than delighted that Chef David Boulay, one of the world's most renowned chefs and restaurateurs, has returned to the dish this morning. Chef Boulay has won many awards for his cooking at his signature restaurant, Boulay, right here in New York. That's right. His popularity with the dining public is unmatched. Boulay has been Zagat's top-rated restaurant for three years running. And so it's appropriate that Chef Boulay is here with his ultimate dish for the new year. Good morning to you, Chef. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. This is quite so, a feast in front of us. Well, this is our New Year's Eve dinner, particularly from my point of view as chef. That's why we have some black truffles, some Perigord. We have always foie gras. And duck or goose has always been an a, you know, end-of-the-year holiday uh, protein for us. So take us through a little bit about what's on our plate here. Well, you know, I know that you're from Wellfleet, so these oysters are from Wellfleet and Farmers. Are and they? They're from the Cape? Nice. Yeah, from from the that's Cape. where Seth Stone grew up. Yes, yes. And what we have today Perfect. is just very simple. It's kiwi wow. and the oysters, because kiwi and oyster have the same 18 minerals in common. And it's very interesting because that you have nothing else there, but when you taste that, you're going to find yourself uh, a lot more flavor in the oyster than you would imagine. Mm. That's fascinating. Yeah, the same is. 18 mm. minerals in yep. common? Yes, exactly. Is that, I mean, wow. when you think about cooking as a chef, do you think in, in that kind of scientific I actually term? read that in a science book. And then when I tried it, I thought my customers were going to think I'm either crazy <laughs> or they don't like it. And they were asking for more because I would send out only a few. They wanted six or a dozen. So it's only a few weeks I've been doing it, and it works extremely well. It's terrific. Because in the oyster, you have salt, fat, and protein. And now we have acid and sugar in the kiwi. Yeah, Those balances. are the five principles of cooking. So you have it all in, nat in nature. You, you mentioned well. we do have foie gras on the side. Yes, we have foie gras. Which can be a little controversial. Well, now there's still, there's a lot of movement, uh, particularly in New York State, to make the foie gras uh, concept, the process, extremely healthy and humane. And humane. Right. Canadians are helping the farms. So I think they do that so well. I don't think there'll be any more... Um, issues with the foie gras. You know, the Romans and the Greeks used to eat foie gras mm -hmm. because the liver gets naturally large before they migrate. So some people are, are concerned that they force the liver to be that large, but the bird does it twice a year on its own. Speak so. to us a bit about what else is on the plate here. Duck, this Another might look a little bird. overwhelming for some <laughs> audience members. How would I cook so this? So have, we have the duck that's been glazed with réglisse, which is licorice powder we bring mm. from France. With licorice? And you have those black dates in front from mm. a, a farm between Nevada and California. Very, very beautiful dates. One of my favorites here is the very simple, because us chefs, we've been cooking, making everything complicated. So when we sit down, <laughs> we just want to taste the great ingredients, like the oyster. So here we have a potato. It's actually from one of my farms. And this wow. potato is simply smoked over a health tea from Kyoto with Ocetra caviar. Mm. You have to try the, the potato. I will caviar. be trying wow. that. It's one of my it's favorites. Terrific. You mentioned your farm, mm -hmm. which uh, a couple years ago you actually got your own farm. What made you decide to go in that direction? What I decided was is the direction that we're going now at Boulay Restaurant is to fortify mm. our food. And in the early 80s, I was one of the first chefs to really work with the farmers, to bring ingredients that people hadn't seen, like the fingerling potato. And where we are now is to see why we lost so much flavor in so many of our vegetables. And I, what I'm doing is particularly turning my little farm into a living laboratory. Hmm. So we No wonder you're a, reading the science books. Yeah, I have to. But I'm working with different farmers around the country who have a lot more education than me. And we work with a, a Cornell food physiologist who's helping quantify the nutrient density of our vegetables. And we start with the ground up. So we do a lot more compost, a lot more vitamins in the ground. We take care of the plants like they're children. <laughs> we nurture them, we study them as they're growing. And it's amazing the results. And a lot of work. It's and, a lot of work. And just briefly, who would you have this fabulous dinner with if you could choose? My wife. My uh, wife. You absolutely. should have her here. <laughs> I don't see her enough during this holiday season. Well, nice you can toast thing. her. Happy well, New Year's yes. to happy, your happy wife's name. Happy New Year's name. to everyone. Nicole. Nicole, Happy Thank New Year's and Happy New Year's to you, Chef David you. Boulay. Thanks so much.